the kid that you saw in that video that uh, was the gang leader, that kid is on a team that the year before him, not him, but the guy that ran that team before that, was on parole. I mean, they, this is NASA adopting a really tough school. It's an alternative school. None of these kids have a lot of future. Almost all uh, minority, Hispanic. They adopt the school. They show up at the first time we have a regional out in California. And because it's local, somebody, that woman, I think, who just helps us out, got the local press there. And the local press included the Los Angeles Times. So some guy from the Los Angeles Times sees this kid. I'd never met him. We would have missed this whole story. His arm is in a sling, and he's all bandaged up. And I think the guy was going after a story, you know, ah, this stuff is dangerous. This kid must have been sliced by a robot. Cause the so the guy, what happened? The kid had been on a team for six weeks, working every day with NASA. He realizes he and his guys from NASA are going to this event. His arm is covered with tattoos from his street gang. He realizes this would be an embarrassment to the people at NASA. The night before the regional, he goes to an emergency room in a hospital and has the tattoos burned out of his arm. Unfortunately, his arm, of course, swelled up. He didn't. And there he is. So that the reporter finally says to me, yeah, we'll give you a copy of the article. Why did you do that? He says, well, I don't need a gang anymore. I have NASA. <laughs>